I'm Tessa with MamasGeeky.com. Yeah. I'll, I'll try to drop it out anyway. Um, <laughs> did you have to rewatch the first movie to figure like how are we gonna do this again, or does it just kind of come right back? I am the Underminer. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the thing about the Underminer is because he's beneath ground, I thought I'd put some gravel in his voice because he's always <laughs> got to be swallowed with dirt. That's how he talks. <laughs> well, yeah, 14 years ago, so it's it's conceivable that someone who saw the first one will be bringing their children. I think that's pretty cool. It's like with a lot of the other films too. You know, talking like Toy Story, the same thing. That 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 film has been generation to generations have been, enjoyed that movie, and, and it's it's really cool that you are a part of all that. And, and really the only person to be a part of all of it, which is very cool. How, was, was that a planned thing? Was that kind of like someone trying to, let's see, like a personal challenge someone made to themselves? And they go, let's try to put John in every Pixar movie. No, I, I've got some Polaroids of Steve Jobs with farm animals. <laughs> <laughs> So Ham is back. I wish it was a no brainer. Yeah, very cool. So you, so you have it. How, so how far how far in advance do you know that you're coming back, or do you like? I guess they kind of do a lot of the preliminary animation first, and they kind of give you a call. Or how does that kind of how does it all fit together? I usually get those Google reports. You know, my name's mentioned. Pops up. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh, you know, Ham is coming back and praising the role, blah blah blah. blah. Oh, okay, then we're we'll doing another one. <laughs> <laughs> so John says, okay, we can do another film. But so no, that's the way I find I find out when you guys find out really. I mean if I ask, I, I can find out. <laughs> I don't ask. <laughs> Is it odd, you know, being in a, you know, doing all the animation work, and you're, you don't really work with the people that you're, you, you co-star with? Is no, it? it takes too long. Um, you know, if you have five people recording, four of them could be just spot on perfect, and the fifth guy, you could hear the change rattling in his pocket, or so you got to start from the beginning. You know, it's, it's just easier, but also with Pixar make it so easy. They do all the heavy lifting in that they've already worked on the script for three or four years. So the director right for this next one, Brad Bird, he knows every punctuation, every pause, every sigh. He just knows every single character and how they connect and how they should connect and where they connect. And so he's the one that directs the flow. So when he tells you, you know, do, do you know, lower and be more afraid or you know, uh, say it like you just run a mile, not that no kids. You literally just do what the director tells you. There's no heavy lifting involved for me. And the process itself, how long, how long does it take? Some of these roles that you play, there are, are some are smaller, some are bigger. We've seen like you know, Mac and Cars and Hammer, there's a couple that are a bit smaller. How long does it take to even do some of the smallest ones? I imagine that probably still takes a few a few hours of recording. They probably, do they begin to do like a million takes, or do you go in there and nail it one and then you hit the road? Like, how does that work out? No, I've been doing it for a long time. I actually invented the system. It was the first Toy Story, and um, usually, and those of you out there who record, you understand this, uh, you, you've got the microphone and there's a booth, and you got the director, the producer, whoever in there, and then you do the first line. Oh, look at that cricket. So you say the line, and then they confer, and then you see all this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then, okay, John, let's try that again, and could you say it faster? Look at that cricket. And so I said, how about this? Let's, let's, let me 
one, I'll give you five different ways on each line. And you tell me which one is the best or the closest that way. So we started that system and uh, shaved off a lot of time. So it used to take three hours, I think 45 minutes now. Have you ever got recognized just by your voice? Have you ever had to call like you know your insurance oh, company and go, wait, are you? I do it on purpose, like in supermarkets with little kids. <laughs> I remember there was a, a, a kindergarten class in a line like little ducklings following the teacher at uh, Central Park. And uh, they're, all, they're all holding hands each other. And, and as the last one passed, we said, hey, we're as much like you're at Woody. And about five or six kindergartens spinning around. So, uh, I got fun with that, yeah. <laughs> Talking about this backstage, uh, you know, we're saying, you know, how many things that you've been in those. And I, I said, like, oh, I got a sore neck looking at your IMDb because there's just so many, so many things. And you, you said that you sometimes stumble across things that you forgot you were in. That's that happens. Yeah, yeah I've, I've been in a situation where you know, we sit there with my kids or uh, myself, just you know, watching something. They go, Wait a minute, I was in there. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I believe that's vaguely familiar. Maybe I saw this before. And, uh, <laughs> I know that in Malta. <laughs> yeah, so, because I just, I think it's, and, and, it, and it comes from having, a, uh, I'll try to avoid the phrase blue collar background. It's, to me, they're essential workers, people who work like my son's a plumber. And, uh, that's essential. Plumbing is a lot more important than acting. But because uh, we need to take showers and stuff. But, uh, my father was a truck driver, and he'd come home from work. He never talked about work. They're white. And so I think I picked up on that. So my kids actually thought I was a carpenter until they were about seven, eight years old. <laughs> and this is while I was doing chairs. Oh, wow. Yeah, because I never talked about it. I mean, why? What are you going to talk about to your kids, young kids? Well, you know, you have the scene today where it's they don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Color and books and run around in the yard. But uh, I think that's where it comes from. So I, I, I don't talk and remind myself that I did a certain TV show that did a, it was a love boat recently. And I was in it. You know? Anything this weekend that people have surprised you with? They come, they come to your table and they just sign something that you're like, oh my gosh, memory lane. Oh, all the, all the time. time. Oh, yeah. House 2. Uh, <laughs> a little obscure things. Uh, Warlords of Atlantis. Uh, Arabian Adventure. Real obscure ones. Because when I, was, I lived in England for 10 years, did a lot of movies over there, and when the agent would approach you about a film, I never said who's directing it or who wrote it or let me see the script. I always said, where's the location? Because I thought, this is a cool gig because I can get to travel all over the world and have somebody else pay for it. <laughs> so if it was an A film being filmed right in London, I would eschew that and instead go for a, a B C film being filmed in maybe like I said, Malta. I can't go to Malta. So it's uh, probably the dumbest actor in the world. <laughs> <laughs> I just like to travel, just that the spectacle spectacle, history, geography. I've always uh, been all about that since I was a kid. And you mentioned uh, Cheers. Anyone here at the oh, event yeah. last night? You were on that show. Yeah, it was on the TV. With George and uh, John, that's called. Cool. Yeah, they were talking about a lot about the uh, the show last night. And uh, if you have questions for uh, John about Cheers, uh, be sure to uh, make sure you ask a question of it. But before we throw to audience questions, uh, I know you, you you played Cliff on the show. It was a, yeah, it was a, a, a bit of an, and a know it all, right? He's, you know, he's, he's a very, very smart guy. And you said last night that you yourself, uh, that you, you, you dabble in the, in, the, in the trivia, right? You watch Ned Jeopardy? <laughs> That's a good t shirt, dabble in the trivia. <laughs> 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 what does that mean? Um, I've I just been an admin reader since I was very young. Well, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to put you to the test, actually, because you know, here we are in, uh, you know, on the Canadian side of Niagara Falls, and I, I boiled it down to just some true or false questions, okay? Your true, true or false? All right, we're going to put, uh, put Cliff to the test. 
easy. Some of these are easy, some of these are a little tougher. We're starting, we'll start slow and work our way up. The capital of Canada is Toronto. True or false? Uh, that's false. Do you know what it is? Ottawa. Ottawa. Great. Great. That's Great. also where the RCMP was first founded. Anybody know the story? That's such a glorious story. <laughs> 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 that's a, that, that, were, that was like the Magnificent Seven. Because they were all villains and gunslingers. Because the villains, the bad guys out in the uh, Pacific Northwest, were ruling the whole area, and Ottawa said we got to stop it. So they got the baddest of the bad. It was like it was about a dozen of them. And by the time they reached uh, British Columbia, the bad guys had all fled because of their because of their reputation. Does anybody know that story? It's unbelievable. All right. <laughs> all right. No, no. Right. We've never met. <laughs> Yeah, that's, I, I always think, why did they make a movie of that? Yeah. Yeah. You know, Malta, you can go shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> but no, these were the baddest of the bad. These guys were really butt kickers. All right, Canada's national sport is hockey. True or false? Oh, it's gotta be. It's either that or maple syrup. That's <laughs> false. Lacrosse is Canada's national sport. What? Oh, I thought that was Lacrosse's national sport. <laughs> True story, look it up guys, I know, mind blowing, right? The longest street in the world is located in Canada. Is that true or false? The longest street in the world is located in Canada. Street, right? it is. street. yeah. Uh, the longest is uh, Sepulveda Boulevard in California. The longest is actually Young Street in uh, Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> the Mall of America is owned by Canadians. True or false? Uh, true. True. It's a company in Edmonton, actually, based in Edmonton. All right, after Pearl Harbor, Canada declared war on Japan first. True or false? That's probably true. That is true. <clears throat> also, the, the French Canadians were the first ones to hit the beaches on uh, Omaha Beach. And they were the most feared troops of the Germans. When the Germans knew that they were French Canadian troops, they would go over. Huh? <laughs> Fierce. I mean, God, it's, it's such a wonderful history. That's what should be on TV. We're sticking with history for this one. We have some. We have a few Americans in the audience, right? Oh. There we go. Okay, this is the one that's going to really, really divide the room. Okay. All right. In the two times the U.S. invaded Canada, the U.S. won both. Is that true or false? False. False. It is false. Canada won both. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Uh, Canadian money is not only in cool colors, but it also has Braille-like markings on it. Is that true or false? <laughs> that is true! <laughs> Alright, now this is uh, one for Niagara Falls. Tourists have been struck by falling fish touring the falls. Is that true or false? So if you're on the tour that takes you kind of underneath in the caves, there's people that have been actually hit by fish. So. That would say it's true. That's true. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm a that's there's some of them. Like the flounder you get out of one out here in British Columbia. Huge. Yeah, that would knock you right out. <laughs> right, there are more Canadians living in the U.S. with expired visas than any other group. <laughs> any other group of immigrants. Is that true or false? Yes, man. That's true. <laughs> Apparently they've estimated there's about 93,000 Canadians hiding down there. <laughs> All right, last one. The moose is the national animal of Canada. True or false? I don't think so. It is false. What is, do you know what it is? The beaver. It is the beaver. <laughs> Pretty good overall, I would say, right? Yeah. Got to be All right, we have some audience questions.